I want you to picture walking into your local grocery store. You browse around, pick up your milk, your broccoli, your Ben and Jerry's cookie dough ice cream. Maybe you pick up two pints because they're on sale. Hey, no judgment here. You go home happy and don't even give it a second thought. Now when I walk into a grocery store, I'm painfully aware of what you don't see. A refrigerant gas called hydrofluorocarbons, or HFCs. It's what keeps our food cold. It's a super polluting chemical and a greenhouse gas that's way worse than CO2. Pound for pound, HFCs have up to 4,000 times more impact on global warming than CO2. And they're growing faster than any other greenhouse gas on the planet. Bottom line, to even have a chance at solving the climate crisis, we need to get rid of HFCs now. This is why Project Drawdown named refrigerant management the number one global climate solution. I think about refrigerants all day, every day. I'm also a mother and I'm nine months pregnant. This is so vitally important. I'm literally talking within days of my due date. I'm terrified of climate change. I'm worried about the world we'll be leaving to our kids. But I am hopeful there's something you and I can do about it. The average grocery store contains thousands of pounds of HFCs and leaks 25% of its refrigerant every year. If we multiply that by all the grocery stores in the US, it adds up to just under 70 million metric tons of CO2 equivalent. This is about the same amount of emissions that's needed for the electricity to power nearly 12 million homes in a year, which is just about the same as the number of households in the state of California. This is all just from the leaks. I'm sure you're thinking, can't we just stop the leaks? And I can tell you no grocer wants to be leaking refrigerant. But even in a perfect world where no system ever leaked, HFCs would still harm the environment. So what's the solution? It turns out there's already a really good one. It's climate friendly, naturally occurring, and can't be patented. Natural refrigerants. Going back to basics. In fact, it's deja vu. The very first refrigeration systems used natural refrigerants. They're household names that are leading a double life as cooling superheroes. Ammonia, propane, and even CO2. As crazy as it sounds, CO2 is a solution. And a bonus is that natural refrigerants can reduce energy, water, and gas consumption too. So now you're thinking, great, let's just switch out HFCs with natural refrigerants and call it done. But we can't just switch out the gas. With natural refrigerants, we have to replace the whole system. Here's how that would look in your home. You're so motivated by this talk, you volunteer to replace the HFCs in your fridge. But the technician tells you, not only do you have to replace your refrigerant, but your refrigerator, your plumbing, your walls, and flooring at the same time. If you're like most people, you'll probably just decide to live with the harmful gas. It's really not that bad, it's just one fridge. Especially since no one is making you do it. On the flip side, if everyone did it, there'd be economies of scale to bring down costs, more technicians trained to do it, new technologies to make it easier. This is exactly what effective policy does. And we've already been down this road. Before HFCs, grocery stores used a different chemical refrigerant that nearly destroyed the ozone layer. Now here's where policy comes in, and this is important. The Montreal Protocol, one of the most successful international treaties, phased out ozone-destroying refrigerants. The problem is they were replaced with HFCs. We didn't realize that by saving the ozone layer, we'd be speeding up global warming. Thankfully, the Kigali Amendment to that same treaty is targeting HFCs today. Over 100 countries have signed on. For example, the EU's HFC policies have fast-tracked the phase-down, 
and are making natural refrigerants practically standard in grocery stores. It's a great example of how effective policy can accelerate change. Unfortunately, the U.S. has not signed on, and we don't have effective policies to get rid of HFCs. Grocers basically have to volunteer to do it. And just like the example of the fridge in your home, we know this is crazy expensive and almost logistically impossible. But there is something we can do now, and the grocery community is already taking action. We've built a powerful network of grocery stakeholders who are working every day to tackle the barriers to natural refrigerants. Change is happening, but much slower than it would with effective policies. By taking action now, we can see results within our lifetime. Experts project that eliminating HFCs can avoid up to half a degree of warming by the end of the century, which is significant because the catastrophic tipping point is only one and a half degrees away. The thing is, all of us can play a role in accelerating this change. The first step is awareness. And now you know how critical it is to eliminate HFCs fast. So tell others, spread the word to your network and to foundations who fund climate change initiatives. Ask your local newspaper to cover the story. Speak up at your city council meeting. Talk it, text it, tweet it, whatever it takes, let's make everyone aware of HFCs in grocery stores. Natural refrigerants give me hope because they have the power to make the number one global climate solution a reality. And I believe that individual awareness gives us the collective power to make this change happen, to leave a better world for our kids. Thank you.